You know, as windy as it is today, I would not be able to do this effectively without the shack, without the otter shack. It would be very hard for me to be able to, given how subtle, subtly they're taking this sometimes, for me to feel and see what's going on in this wind. You're out of luck. That little maggot box is darn near alive, warmed up in my pocket. When I fish for crappies in deep water most of the time, I'll, I will actually use gulp. Um, but the classic rigging from the old days is maggots or perhaps a rat tail maggot, um, something nice and juicy like that, but the gulp does oftentimes work. This is actually a fish way up high off the bottom. This is my lure going to come down. You see the fish go down? It's actually two fish. See how they split? There we go. Looks like a little better one. Yeah, there we go. We're getting there. Um, another couple. You know, you can rig these, you can make these entirely at home. They do, uh, they are sold commercially, a um, variety of companies. Um, Northland actually has one that has its own dropper and it's a single hook. You can add maggots or add a, add a minnow. Um, uh, Custom Jigs and Spin has one that is adjustable. And Lindy, I often use uh, one of the spoons. And what you can do, I'll show you how this all began actually. You know, I first saw this being done in the early 1970s on uh, the Iowa Great Lakes, West Okoboji Spirit Lake. And in those days, everybody tied up their own. This is just a one-tenth ounce cast master. You remove the treble hook, and then you add that two to two and a quarter to maximum two and a half inches of line, and then tie on the little tiny lead head jig. It takes a little practice to get that two and a half to two and a quarter inches. Um, but you'll get it and so you can tie these up at home. They're also done commercially Now the spoon I'm actually using today in conjunction with my own home tied little lead head jig is a Northland buckshot rattle spoon And it looks like it's about a sixteenth of an ounce uh, You can certainly go heavier I fish these very effectively many times down into 60 and 70 feet of water for perch and a lot of times when perch are in the basin like that They're actually feeding on the bottom in that situation, too We've got the same situation going on sand right here in about 17 feet of water. There we go. Feels like a good one. Here we go. Not bad. There we go. Now, nice mess of fish there. I'm going to move a couple more times, but the point's been made. This dropper rigging is really, really vital to most forms of ice fishing, not just pan fishing, but I mean, especially for bluegills, especially for perch and crappies, but it works for trout and a variety of other species with a little modification. Extremely efficient for fishing finespo in deep water. You can get down fast, feel what, everything that's happening down there and trigger fish because of that little tiny lead head jig hanging just a little bit away from that spoon. It's been fun and I've got a nice mess of fish.